Hello everybody, I am Fuzzy Face and welcome back today to Motorsport Manager. We're once again doing a, another challenge, the second challenge that we've done last time. We did the Sprinkler Savvy Challenge, which is the rules where the sprinklers can come on. They come on towards the end of the race. I did rerun the race after I filmed the last video. I tried a different strategy where I went onto the intermediates. The intermediates didn't work as well. It seems that the game with the new patch has sort of changed where the crossover works. So for a couple of laps where it used to be, you would be better off on the intermediates. The intermediates and the wet tyres were set in the same lap time. So the intermediates ended up being quite a bit further behind what it would have been if we'd have stuck to the wet strategy. But anyway, we're getting on with today's challenge. Today's challenge is the number two challenge. It is fighting for fifth. It's the last race of the WMC. Chapman can secure the Drivers' Championship without even getting on the podium. However, after a crash-heavy and rain-soaked first lap, the plan must evolve. Oliveira is closing fast and her position will directly impact where Chapman needs to place. Can he overcome the odds? So, we're going to be starting with Harry Chapman and the Steinman team. It looks like the race won't be partly done. How many laps? I'm not sure. It says pretty early on, so we might be starting on the second lap. And we have to finish fifth or above. I'm guessing we only have to finish fifth or above if Oliveira wins a race. I'm guessing the game is set up or pretty much biased in getting Oliveira up to first place. So I'm guessing we have to finish fifth or higher. But anyway, that is what the challenge is going to be. We should be at Brazil. Yes, we are at the equivalent of the um, Sao Paulo Grand Prix, the Rio de Janeiro Grand Prix. It's actually one of my favourite tracks in this game as it is in real life. So hopefully we're going to get a good result here. I don't know how far the order we are actually going to be. I don't think we get a chance to work. Well, we don't get a chance to work on any of the setups or anything like that. So we're behind a bunch of trees at the moment. So Harry Chapman is in seven. That's not actually the Steinman car, is it? What? Who is Robertson? Who are these guys? There's actually a lot of different cars about here. Schmitzu? What is a Schmitzu? No assault. Hammer Valen. Valen. Right, so we've got the Rossini. So there's, there's a lot of different teams here, sir. So we've got Windsor. And we've got Van Dort, Panther Race Team. So there's like a couple of extra teams in here. We've got Rosato, of course. And we've got Zielinski in the Hammer Valen. So I'm guessing, I don't know whether, I haven't actually gone into the actual game yet since the patch came out. I don't know whether the teams have actually changed up a little bit, a little bit, but it looks like we're with, if we can just sort of read the hat, we're with the Kitano team. So we've got Harry Chapman, who's usually with the uh, Steinman racing team, and we've got Robertson, both with this Kitano team. But anyway, we're on the intermediates at the moment. It looks like it's going to stay raining for a little bit longer yet. We're on partly worn intermediates. We're behind the safety car, so we've got a little bit of fuel left in play here. So we could run in overtake mode from the beginning a little bit. Oliveira, the person who can catch us in the Drivers' Championship, is currently behind us in 10th place. We currently have a 9-point lead in the Championship with the way the points are spread out at the moment. Um, Kitana, so let's just have a quick look at these teams. We've got Nippon Racing, we've got Schmitzu, we've got Mersol, we've got Hammervalen. All new teams here. I don't know if the actual game has changed around a little bit. But some of these names here are the names of the engine suppliers in the base game. So whether it's switched around a little bit. But anyway, we're going to get going here. So let's get this race going a little bit here. We've got uh, room to push. So we're going to attack and overtake mode. We don't really need to pay attention. Oh, doing the wrong one. We don't really need to pay attention to Robertson. This challenge is all about Chapman. His engine's pretty low down as well, so we can't really run in overtake mode. Otherwise, we'll possibly need to end up coming in to repair that engine. But look at that. we got cars running wide again, which has happened with this new patch. So that's a great start to this race. We're up into fourth. We're just going to have to really watch the condition of this engine as the race goes on here. We don't really want to push the car too much. Oliveira, though, is already up into fifth. She is in the Rossini. She's in a really quick car. I don't know whether our car, with it being a Kitano, is still like they are in the base game. They have a really poor engine, but we only sort of really need to finish fifth. It doesn't really matter if, uh, as she does there, Oliveira gets past us. She's making a right charge through the field on Chapman. 
these tyres start getting a little bit too hot here. The temperature is 23 degrees, so the, t the track is really hot. So I'm going to try to cool these tyres down a little bit. But we're losing places here. We're down into 7th place. It's a Catano car. Doesn't seem fast at all. Look at that, 8th. That is Holtz getting past us. Holtz, what, is, what car is Holtz in? I think she's usually in the Kitana, but she's in the Windsor here. So we're down in 8th place here. We're actually struggling a little bit. Um, what, that's where we need to be for the challenge objective. This is going to keep moving up as Oliveira starts moving up the order. She's in 2nd place at the moment, quite a long way behind Zielinski. So at 8th place, we're currently all right. But we're losing a little bit of traction here. Let's try and cool these tyres down a little bit so we can get pushing on them again. We just need, we can't really push like that with the fuel at the moment, can we? Because this engine is down to 56% already, right? Let's get back into neutral now. We should be able to sustain that, but we're starting to drop behind. I think it's she's actually called Nina Holtz. We're actually dropping way behind here. What is she doing with the car? She's not doing anything and she's pulling away in front of us. Right, so we're really struggling here. We're down into ninth place now. This car is absolutely shoddy. Absolutely shoddy car. It's just no power in at all. We're just getting outrun by seemingly everyone here. I don't get how this is an easy challenge since we're getting outrun by seemingly everyone. So Chapman currently running 10th. We're one place off where we need to be for the challenge objective. We're going to have to time this pit stop pretty decent to get into the pits. Let's get attacking here because we know we can just sort of burn through this tyre now because there's only a lap and a bit to go before we're getting off this tyre. Let's see if we can start closing this distance down to Krause. We need to pass. Definitely need to pass Krause. We've ended up three seconds behind him. Engine's still at 56, which seems all right. On lap nine, coming round. So what are we doing? A 136. What is Oliveira managing? 132. Is that what she even managing that? Let's see what we can do this lap, pushing all out. We know the tyres. We know the tyres are too hot, but it shouldn't really matter too much. With the new patch, you can actually get blistering on the tyres on 134. I don't think we're going to get in this lap, are we? We're going to have to wait another lap before we come in for a fresh tyre. But we, do, we don't actually have a hard compound tyre that we can get to the end of the race on. What are you doing, Robertson? Well, he's got a soft tyre. He can do 19 laps on that. So he can do. I'm guessing with the way the rain's up, it might be a little bit more rain towards the end of the session. So we might go for the quickest tyre. Because we are going to have to do another stop after the first one anyway. Whichever tyre we go for. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. So Robertson, we can ignore you. Chapman, meanwhile. Still going. Rain's not stopping just yet. Tyres are possibly a little bit too hot. Not really what we wanted. Oliveira has now got herself into first place. But he says we only need sixth place to complete the challenge. Which is not what the title of the description said for this challenge. I'm guessing if we get into six, we could be tied points. 97 points each. Yeah, that would be. Sixth place would get you three points. In the old system of like Formula 1 where it was ten points for a win going down to one point to 8th place I think it is so that would make sense that 6 will give you 3 points but we're still pushing here, the rain is going to stop so we're going to get in to the pits this lap, we're going to go ultra soft and this engine is, this engine's troubling me we're going to have problems with this engine, we're going to try to pick up a few places as the track starts to dry out it might be the wrong decision to do this we're in a little bit early Robertson, meanwhile, we're going to set him up, even though we don't need to. We're going to get him onto a soft tyre. Right, let's push these tyres for a little bit now. Let's keep an eye out. It doesn't look like there's going to be any rain coming. But can we make up some time now? We don't want to let these tyres get too hot. But we do want to push, just see if we can sort of make up any distance whilst these other cars are coming into the pits. We need to somehow get back into... 8-4 above at the moment, Zielinski's managed to get past Oliveira, but I'm guessing that's just, no, they're both out of the pits. All the way here, we're miles behind at the moment, but there we go, up into 5th. That absolutely worked out brilliantly. We need to try and cool these tyres down a little bit. We're going to go into medium. We don't want anything bad to happen to this engine. 
Um, yeah, we on the Kitano engine, the McLaren engine. It's pretty shoddy, and it's going to take a while to cool these tyres down. We've got a little bit of a gap. We don't want to let that... Ah! Oh, what are you doing? What was that? It just went miles wide, and we're now into sixth place, but... The challenge objective currently is eighth place, but we're going to have to get pushing on these tyres. We're going to have to go medium again. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble here. Oh, we had a nice, comfortable gap there. We've let these cars get close. Oliveira's back in the lead. We're out of position. What happened there? He ran way wide. That was massively wide. And even... What are these cars doing? They're pushing the tyres. Have we got... Oh, we're expecting rain. There is rain coming. Right, so we can... Oh, tyres are really hot, though. Let's push them anyway. Let's see if we can gain some time. Let's see if we can get some of this time back. And then we can think about cooling them down. Because we're on a quicker tyre. We know we can push it because there's rain coming. These tyre temps are... Yeah, we know the high Chapman. But we're going to have to push them. 0.7. We're still gaining. Because if we were in neutral, we were seemingly losing distance here. But we're close now to Richter, which is the challenge objective, it looks like. So we're up into sixth place here. We're going to keep pushing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get even more rainy. Is it going to be a, the possibility of it going to a full wet track? We're going to have to risk it and go for the Inters, I think. We've got to somehow try and make up this gap. Tyres are really hot. We can't really push it. We've got extra fuel here. We can't really push it without... Because if we pushed it, we would do irreparable harm to the engine. Well, not irreparable, but to the point where we would have to repair it costing us where we need to be here we are not gaining are we we are still gaining on Dita Vexler Vexler's not actually with Rossini here he's with Rosetta Corsa so the order has totally been changed up here for these uh, we're about to set our fastest lap of the race not the fastest overall lap but the fastest lap that we've managed to do even though the title of this challenge is called fighting for th fighting for three fifth even it looks like we're going to pass it being in 6th place, but... Right, so... Oh, our tyres have actually gone pretty short here, aren't they? Um, let's try and cool these down a little bit. Let's try and make them... We need to drag them out. It, oh, we're not going to drag it out for another lap. We need to get it dragged out for another lap at least. Is that going to be possible? We're going to lose a lot of time here, aren't we? Uh-oh. Ot oh because Richter is coming back at us now. Right, we're going to set up. It's not even started raining yet. We're going to have 34% for the engine. No. The engine is possibly going to go before the end of this race. We're losing places. Look at that. Down into 8th place now. We're going to get preemptively into the pits. But it looks like it's going to get fully wet. We're losing tons of time here. It's ninth place. Kraus goes past us now. Oh, are we going to even be able to pull this out of the bag here? We're on the Inters. It started raining, but we're not at the point where the Inters are the right tyre at the moment. Let's get going. Chapman, come on. We can do this. Why oh, aren't we on slicks? Because it started raining, Chapman, and we've got to take some sort of risk here. We've got to take a risk to try and get back up this order. Otherwise, we're totally done for. Are we gaining? We're slightly falling behind. A couple of cars are coming into the pits. The AI might stay out a little bit too long. Are we gaining? No, we're still losing time to Oliveira at the moment. And to sixth place. Oh, come on. These tyres have got to start working at some point. 16th. We're currently getting stuck behind Legrand at the moment. There we go. We get past him. Right. Looks like the Inters are finally coming back into play. Or maybe not. Maybe not. 80 seconds behind the leader. 15th place. We're going to lose this challenge. Not even anywhere near Robertson who's going to come in for his Inters this time. He's got engine. He's got trouble with everything. We'll just... It doesn't matter what he does. We might as well just try and fix him anyway. <laughs> He's going to switch back to medium, otherwise he's going to run out of fuel. 
Right, 13th place. A lot of these cars are still strain, staying out on the track at the moment. For some reason. Maybe that can play into our hands. We're starting to come back at the moment. This is the first lap that we've done. Where we're a little bit quicker. So are we going to be able to get close enough? We cannot push the engine because it's nearly gone. Don't want to risk the engine going. So where are we going to be after this round of pit stops here? Can we move up the order? Are we quick enough? Fifth and six are into the pits. Are we going to get out in front of them here? Fifth is coming out. Are we going to get into sixth place? We're into sixth place. Which looks like it's good enough to beat the challenge somehow. <laughs> somehow we're going to do this even with a mistake. It looks like we're going to be in the right position. These tyres are way too hot though. We've got noises coming from the engine. The engine is nearly gone. Who's behind us? We've got Richter behind us. Gaining on us as we're trying to cool this tyre down. The weather is still pretty hot. It's going to get to wet conditions. Only there has gone for a wet tyre. And she's actually dropping down the order. So look at that. Eighth place would now win this. But she's going to possibly be able to come back in a second. Because the wet tyres are going to be more effective in a lap or two. Right, come on Chapman. Richter. He's struggling to catch us. He's catching us. Right, we can go back into medium now on these tyres. He's catching us, he's Richter. He's, is he actually going quicker than us this lap? We can't actually tell until we get round. The track is almost on full wet conditions. Richter's getting close to us. Only there is back into first place. A 140 to his 136 last lap. But have we curtailed? No, we haven't. What is Richter doing? Richard's not doing much more than us, although he can push his engine. We cannot really do anything with his engine. We might have to risk going high mode to just try and keep him at arm's length behind us. There we go. He's falling behind and get back into medium. We might just have to keep doing that a little bit because otherwise this engine is going to go. All right, can we hold on to sixth place here? Can we hold on to sixth place? Come on. Let's go high mode a little bit more. Trying to keep him behind us. Is he falling back again? No, he's still catching us even in high mode. What is he doing? Richter is actually pushing his tyres at the moment. We're going to have to respond to that. We're going to have to respond otherwise he's going to catch us. Got two laps to go after this one. What is the engine looking like? 26. So he might be able to run in overtake mode for the last couple of laps just to try and hold off Richter here. Challenge objective, we are still winning the championship, but we're on equal points. So it is good enough to get Chapman the win. Right, come on. 1.1. It's closing. It's closing. Our tyres are really hot here. We're going to be able to run the last lap in overtake mode, and that should be enough to hold him off here. Oliveira is way out in front. Richter's getting close. Right, overtake mode. Hold him off. Engine is at 26%. That is good enough. That is good enough for us. And we're pulling away. Are we pulling away? Might as well attack on this tyre as well. We're pulling away. Yes, we are. Slightly engine. Still at 26%. It doesn't look to be dropping any more than that. Oliveira has won the race. And we're comfortably in front of Richter. So just about... I don't know whether 6 is going to be enough to actually complete this challenge it says we've completed the challenge here whether it's going to be good enough to actually complete the challenge about 15 seconds behind we could have possibly been about in fifth place it looks to be really hard to get into the top four with the way this katana was performing really early in this race fifth could have been a possibility but our tires ran out a little bit early we tried to stretch it out till the rain came if we'd have pitted that lap early for the intermediates we would have lost the same amount of time on that tyre right so have we actually passed a challenge here actually finishing sixth place i'm guessing chapman's just higher up because he's possibly won more races whether that's how the points work here have we passed the challenge and we have we actually won the challenge finishing six even though it's called fifth or above or whatever it was called fighting for fifth and what do we win we win a hat pack so when we start the next career, we're going to be a chicken, 
a chicken hat wearing zombie next time we start the new career well that's what will our new character will be uh, we've got like a uh, army beret we've got a army army helmet we've got a flat cap but I, i'm gonna wear this chicken hat <laughs> for the next career but anyway there we go we won this just just about we just managed actually quite a little bit harder than it said he said it was an easy challenge he actually struggled a little bit but anyway that is it for this challenge what do we have next time coming up um i think we're just going to stick with the one race challenges for the time being because we have to beat one more challenge to unlock the pro level challenges so we're going to switch to breaking point for the next challenge which is one where this team i don't know actually which team this is they're going to be having problems with their brakes and the point at which margate pits will be the key decision in that race so that is the race that we're going to be doing next but anyway until then we will be back tomorrow with the breaking point challenge but until then i'll see you down the road subscribe hit that like button leave a comment but until tomorrow i'll see you then goodbye <laughs>